Hey, good morning. It's Jim from jagfx.com. It is Tuesday, the 28th of April, 2020. It's 5.24 a.m. local here in Vietnam. Let's just look at my 12-hour charts on the high probability setup and see what I've done this morning. Uh, the new candle was at 4 a.m., which is one hour and 24 minutes ago. So everything's been updated, including the spreadsheets. Now, with my... 12-hour charts, you'll find a link to the shared result spreadsheets in the description of the video. So every trade I call here, I put in a spreadsheet and everyone can have a look at that and check them out if you wish. Been trading, I think, for 12 hours since the 3rd of February, so it's been a couple of months now, so it's all good. All right, let's have a look at my charts. This is my watch list on the right. This is everything, all the pairs I'm trading on the... 12-hour charts, if you see in orange, it means I'm going to talk, highlight in orange, it means I'm going to talk about in this video. If you see it in blue, it means I've got other trades on. If there's no uh, highlight, it means there's no trades. And this purple one, can't remember what I did that for, but I think I've got to have a look at it. So it's nothing to do with the video. Not yet anyway. So let's start with the CAD Swiss. Um, this morning... If you look here, these are my sequence of trades. So on the right here, you can see my notes. This is the first sequence, second sequence. So I've got two sort of independent sequences that combine. So this is the first one starts here. You can read, you just pause the video. Cells are designated by the red vertical lines, buys the blue, where they intersect with a solid, either solid red or solid blue is the entry levels. Uh, if you see red trend lines like this, it normally relates to bearish divergence, green ones, bullish divergence. And if a stop loss is in place, which is one in here, it's hard to see, it's a red dotted line and yellow dashed lines represent the break even levels. So let's just run through what I did this morning. This bottom indicator is my MACD platinum. When it's below the zero level, I'm looking to buy. When it's above the zero, I'm looking to sell. So initially, this six. S2, second sequence, started with a buy, followed by a hedge sell, same position size, then a second buy trade. What I've, Because the MACD Platinum's gone through the zero level on this nice little bullish candle before today's new one, I've decided to close. I closed that, that buy trade. I've closed that sell trade on sequence two and I've closed 0 0.04 of this second buy trade. And I've set a stop on that just above the entry level. So there on the CAD Swiss, that gave me a small profit of about $17.17, .17, which has been added to my profit to date. It just pushes my overall break even up 100 or so pips, which is no big deal because this sequence now all I've got is this one little trade on sequence two, so I could probably move this across to here now because that's the only place where the sequence two trade is on that one. And all of the sequence one started with a sell, so now the MACD Platinum's above the zero level. I'm looking for a, a sell trade. So that that overall break, even though, even though it looks like it's a long way away, it's not a big deal because my plan now is to bring the trades trading back this way. It could keep on going up. And it, the actual sequence there is hedged. So I'm not losing any money except the overnight interest rate or the swap on the majority of these trades. And in the meantime, still got this little buy on. So there's a stop in place. So it's, it's not the end of the world. It's all good. And the other pair, very similar, Euro CAD. Um, sequence two was from here. It's been, it was a sell by a sell. I just closed it completely. There was no wiggle room, very little wiggle room. So I closed sequence two. Now I've just got sequence one, same deal, slightly different, just reversed. This was, when it's above the zero level, I'm looking to sell. Now this has gone below the zero level this morning. So I just closed out that sequence. That gave me a profit of 12.73, which has been added to the, profit to date. Again, this first sequence, which is just about every trade that's left, is currently hedged and now I'm looking for, so I can't lose anything other than overnight interest or swap, whatever you want to call it. 
Now I'm just looking for potential buy signals to try and clear this hedge. So that's the Euro CAD and the CAD Swiss basically just work on the second sequences. One I've closed completely, the other I've closed most and left a bit of a dangling trade on there. Just You just get a bit of creativity when you've got the hedges on, that's all. So, um, so that's it on the 12-hour charts, folks. I'm not sure what I've pile on this New Zealand USD. Let's have a quick look while I'm here. Ah, oh, yeah, I might try and bang out of this S2 trade. Yeah, I'll have a look at that later. No worries. Oh, that's right. I've got to double check this overall break even. Something's not right. <laughs> that's way too high. Anyway, right, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you do like it, please hit the subscribe button or nothing else, hit the like button. Like I said, you can access the shared spreadsheet, see all the results in the description of this video. Have a good day. Cheers.